Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to implement interactive sorting on a matrix in SSRS report. We will create a matrix report and then we will enable interactive sorting on rows, groups and column groups. And then finally we will do some experiments and see the outcome. Now let me take you to SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and show you query. So I have this select query which is select in a these columns are from total sale table and here is the data if you want to take a look this uh, uh, the ddl for the table and data is available on www.techbrothersit.com and uh, you can find uh, the link in the description as well so you can create this table if you would like uh, by yourself now let's go to the ssdt sql server data tools and create the report so click on the reports tab and then add and a new item select the report item provide the name let's call this one matrix interactive sorting add empty report will be created right click on the data sources add data source provide the name let's call this one ds sales and here I'm gonna use the shared data source reference. I have created a shared data source that's called the sales. It's a great idea if you are creating multiple reports from one database. So good idea to create the shared data source and you can use that shared data source in multiple reports. It helps in the deployment. You have only one data source or maybe very few data sources that you will deploy to SSRS report and you will make changes to only those data sources. Instead of you will have embedded data connections in each of the report and you have to make changes for each of the report when you deploy them. So always go ahead and create shared data sources and use them in the reports. Hit OK. Now go to data sets, add data set, provide the name. Let's call this one DSET sales. Select the data source, provide your query. You can provide a store procedure if you have. I have select query, so I provided this one here. Hit OK. Now, right on the design surface, right click and go to insert and then go to the matrix. And then we are going to create matrix support right here. Let me make this one a little big so you can see. These are the rows, and here we see the columns, and here we have a data. So on the rows, what I'm going to provide, I'm going to provide the region. So once I will provide the region here, you can see under the row groups, region is shown right here. And then I would like to add the country as well. So I'm going to click on the country and then provide right here. So I'm not providing the data, I'm providing right here. So once I provide here, this will be added under the region. So I could have just simply dragged the country and provided it here as well. Now, uh, on the column side, I would like to have the product name. So let me take the product name and put it here. So if uh, once uh, I will place that product name here, I would see them under the column group. The last thing I would like to have is the item sold. That's the summary or some of those items sold I would like to uh, see in this uh, report. Uh, once I move that here, you see that it is sum of uh, items uh, sold. So this is great. Now let's uh, preview our report. Uh, and as we can see that, uh, let me make a little more space so you can see everything. Here we have region and then we have country and then uh, here are our product. Uh, so one thing uh, what we can do, we can maybe change the color of these ones at least. Uh, so you would see them differently from product and for product let's change the background color to the maybe green and uh, let's make that a bold as well now let's preview the report now region uh, is uh, here and then we have country and uh, here we have our products if tomorrow i have another product uh, that will be added automatically in the matrix on the right side so that's the uh, one uh, uh, quality of the matrix you don't have to worry about uh, new um, items or values uh, in the uh, column group if they, they would be new they will be added automatically well, let's go ahead and uh, 
enable interactive sorting on the region and country first and then we will experiment for the product name let me take you to design click on the column right here above the group so uh, this is a column uh, text column or header column whatever you like to say it and once it's selected uh, right click and go to the text box properties interactive sorting enable interactive sorting and uh, now we have two options we have detailed rows and groups uh, and as you know that uh, the region is a part of row groups uh, so we'll be selecting groups uh, and then selecting the region so once we select the region uh, the sort by column will be automatically selected hit ok the same thing we have to do for a country we will not be doing on the values column we will be doing in the header so click on the header column here right here and so once it is selected uh, right click text box properties uh, and then go to interactive sorting enable interactive sorting on this uh, text box go to groups uh, as well because country is also a group uh, right here you can see and select uh, the country and it will be selected automatically in the sort by hit ok preview the report and now we can see that we are able to perform interactive sorting on the region uh, and country so let's uh, do the region first uh, as I have um, sorted them ascending so we see Asia Europe and North America and then I can go to the country and uh, sort them as well so once uh, I'm done with the region region is not uh, sorting anymore then uh, the rest of the records uh, will uh, be sorted uh, depending upon the country so if I'm uh, sorting let's say region in North America Europe and Asia now if I go ahead and uh, change the sorting order of a country this will only change the results on this side region will be unaffected so let me click on the country and you can see that India and Pakistan is and Germany and France they are sorted uh, inside these uh, in, 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 uh, in the country and the region is unaffected so let me sort again so you can see that the results are changing uh, in country and other uh, columns uh, but uh, our region uh, is uh, static at this point uh, so we can play with this uh, so this is very easy to implement interactive sorting in the um, matrix report uh, especially on the rows group uh, now one challenge we have it uh, is the product name that's a group that we have on uh, the column groups uh, here uh, as uh, I, I was telling you guys okay we wh when we have new values for products they will be added to the this uh, uh, group uh, or uh, you will see them at the end and uh, it, right now we have four values uh, and the uh, matrix is expandable if our values will increase uh, in the product uh, name uh, column now we, we want it's really kind of hard we, we can't really go here and uh, implement the interactive sorting let me do it and show you what happened so right click on the product name and then uh, first of all if you guys see that uh, we have implemented uh, the sorting on the text boxes uh, so this is a group itself uh, so we, we shouldn't be really going uh, on uh, this uh, uh, actual uh, data column and implement the interactive sorting but if you would do it let's see what happened interactive sorting okay groups then each of uh, will have uh, those interactive sorting uh, icons so see right here we see that uh, now these uh, values has the interactive sorting and right now we have for India 5 and Germany 2 and USA 2 let's experiment this one and see what happened now once you click this one the value did change so for Germany did change the same way let's say we have computer and if I will click interactive sorting it is putting one right here so for the laptop is putting 14 so I'm not sure how this is bringing the numbers but this is totally wrong so it's not sorting at all and and actually it was our fault we shouldn't have implemented the sorting on that uh, uh, column group um, we should be implementing this on the text box so anyways if I refresh the data is correct let's remove this one from here and add a text box so we can sort that now here let's go back here and the text box properties interactive sorting and remove from here hit ok we are all good now our 
uh, region and country is uh, interactive sorted and uh, this product name is not sorted anymore let me add a new column for this one so click here and uh, then uh, go to the insert rows and say outside the group above so once you click that one a new row will be added above this group now here we can put that you would like to say let's say you would like to say right here you can um, or right here let's say you uh, want to write something like that order by product name this is what you would like to name this co uh, column now or cell so once you have this one uh, click on that one and uh, once it's selected uh, right click and go to the text box uh, properties uh, and uh, then you will be going to interactive uh, sorting uh, enable interactive sorting and we know that it is on going to be on the product name group uh, so we select that part hit ok now preview the report as you can see that uh, here we have region we have country we can sort them without any problem so we have I'm sorting by region right now then I'm sorting by a country that's working as well the last thing I would like to see order by product or sort by product name so if that is working we have cell phone computer laptop and TV if I click that one it's working as well but there there are certain things are happening right now so I have computer here laptop and cell phone so the things starting with C, they should come uh, in some sequence or order, but uh, they are not uh, coming. Uh. So that's the one thing. Uh, it did implement uh, the sorting. It is uh, moving them, but it's not really doing the whole thing. So let me take you one step back. We refresh the entire report. Uh, now, we did not uh, touch the region or country. And uh, the very first thing uh, after seeing the report, uh, we are going to order by the product name. So if I will go ahead and... Uh, now if I will uh, order by now you see that so we have a C this is a uh, ascending or descending so it start with C E C O L and T so it is sorting now if I will do one more time we have a cell phone here we have computer and laptop and TV so if you see your report the very first time and you sort by the column group it works just fine the technique we have used but uh, once you include uh, this uh, row group sorting uh, and uh, this this mess up the uh, mess up the column row group sorting uh, now this is working great we have seen that now next let me sort by region uh, and we sorted by region then we sorted by country and now we come back and say okay i would like to sort by product name again so let me do it now so here you see that it's messed up now we have cell phone here tv here and uh, computer here and the laptop so the cell phone C and computer uh, they started with C they are not coming together again so that's the problem uh, here I really couldn't find the solution for this one I was trying to but maybe if you have two values um, it works just fine because there are not not so many values also uh, one more thing I would like to refresh and if, as you can see that now it's working fine just for the column groups and when we include the region and country row groups it will not work it will mess up the uh, column group sorting so it is uh, I would like to go further and try to find out the solution for you guys and see what we can do but uh, the best part is like at least we can sort uh, on row groups without any problem so only the problem we have is uh, sorting by the column groups uh, and it works uh, in a way we know that if it is first time we refresh it we sort the way we want in and then uh, we can play with other um, re, uh, row groups uh, it works just fine uh, we can do that or uh, the other way is uh, we find a solution for this one and also I don't have any solution for sorting these values so if you see these we, we are sorting the column group but we are not sorting uh, these uh, values uh, in them so uh, I would like to go ahead and uh, research uh, on them I will 
and uh, uh, if somebody knows the solution for this one I will recommend putting in the comments so that other people can get benefit from there and uh, I would like to make another video on this one um, once I get a chance and uh, have some solution for this one thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video